So even while yesterday the uh, Xamarin Xamarin was being recorded, um, a request came in about using MVVM Cross and WPF. Um, the request was about Prism, um, and really it was about the composite UI pattern. Um, and it intrigued me, even though I was at Christmas party last night and drinking rather a lot, so I got up at six this morning, and then I thought, right, well, how can I do it? So I've added a new project um, called uh, Sirius.MVVMCross.WPF. It's got pretty much the same sort of small set of functions within it, so there's not much to a setup for an individual platform, because most of it's in um, CLR. Um, but there's a basic view in there, there's a basic dispatcher, which is what puts it on the UI thread and allows navigation. And there's a simple presenter in there. Um, but what I've done is, is the, the presenter is obviously um, inheritable, so you can set up as complex a UI as you want to. Um, and then I took the Twitter example that you guys will have seen quite a lot yesterday. Um, and I've just done a WPF from it. And the only thing is that you'll see somewhere here, you know, it uses WPF rather than it using... Uh, um, Windows Phone 7 or whatever. So it's the bottom of the Twitter samples um, and you'll see it's got a native converter again, it's got some setup code again, you know it's not finished by any means um, and then you know there's a home view which has got nothing in it exactly as you guys will have seen in the Xamarin. Um, there's a Twitter view that's got nothing in it because it's all data binding um, and basically these guys are just user controls and they're going to slot into a page you could do it plenty of other ways. You could load up SAML URLs or something else and use the navigation hierarchy, but you know, it's just one way. And the idea is to do it lightweight so that other people can do other things. And then I put a presenter in there, and the presenter just looks for an attribute on these pages to say where to put it. And then the main page I've set up with like two areas, um, one of which is like left hand side, the other one is called detail. And so all you literally do is, is take a look and see, I don't know why I say literally, but all we do is take a look at the region name and decide where we're going to add our framework element. And it works a little bit when you run it like this. So debug start. Um, hopefully I didn't leave too many breakpoints in. Um, it, it sets up the normal sort of setup exactly as you expect. It goes to the navigation, random works. You know, it's still using the same core project you guys would have seen yesterday. Um, and if you were to type in here, oops, if you were to type WPF, go, then hopefully it should come back and you'll get the list exactly as you're expecting. So, you know, you could have set up four or five regions, you can switch things in and out as you like. Composite UI, done. WPF, well, slightly done. Um, but that's the sort of thing you can do. The framework's light, you can rewrite that presenter however you want to. Um, and I'll check this in in the next few minutes.